This is the Glen Cree Centre for Peace and Reconciliation. Now, I'll tell you a story about this place. Uh, it was once run by the Christian Brothers. The Rosminians maybe, I'm not sure. And uh, young lads were sent up here who were deemed to be misbehaving in school and places like that. But the one story I'll tell you is, when my dad was a young boy, about eight or nine, one of his little pals from the North Inner City, Railby Street, um, was sent up here for mission from school. And I'll just move around here a bit. And one Sunday in the church in the North Inner City, my dad was at Mass and the priest, parish priest announced that he was going to hire a, a bus, a single decker bus, to bring some other parents up here to meet the boys. See there, boys. This is where they used to go to Mass in this church here. So my dad went home and asked his, uh, asked his auntie May if he could come with them on the bus. And um, they went around to the boys' parents and the boys' parents said yes, they would take them, you know. And um, so they came up the following week. And my dad said it was a long journey up and he fell asleep on the woman's lap that he was traveling with. And um, he said when they came here, behind us here now there's a, a river and the bus used to stop there and uh, the women would get out and the men and the children were told to collect firewood because they used to make their tea down there and collect the uh, the water in the river for the tea. See? So, um, that gentleman asked me did I want to go in but I'm fine. So, they'd have their tea because they'd arrive, they'd arrive early and then they'd head home. Now I want you to keep in mind the top window of that place there. I don't know that I can zoom in up there. Right? Because that has a part to play. Anyway, they came here and uh, it wasn't all fancy like it is now. And when they opened the gates for the parents to come in to, to visit their children, uh, my dad with the couple he was with were stopped by one of the Christian brothers and was told that they wouldn't be seeing their boy that day that he was on detention for misbehaving. So the couple went and sat on the grass outside the gate but my dad went in and as he walked around he heard someone calling his name and he looked up and he said at one of the tall windows his young pal was hanging out waving at him and told him to get his dad that they had beaten him up and put him, locked him in the room. So my dad went back and told, told the boy's dad. The boy's dad came to the gate. The Christian brother said, I told you you can't come in here. The father lashed out, knocked the Christian brother on his back and went with my dad in around, found the doorway, got in, broke in the door up the top of the building and rescued his son out of there and brought him back to the bus and put him on the bus to go home. And after a while, everyone came, got on the bus and off they went back to Dublin. But my dad said is a strange thing. He said, nobody ever came looking for that boy. No Christian brothers or parish priests nor nobody. And that's one of the stories that I have about here. Now my dad said because of the stories he had heard as a young boy from his pals in school, that he became very frightened and very much aware not to break the law or run away from school or misbehave because you'll end up in a place like this, or Artain, and they told them some of the things that, that happened to them with the sexual abuse and physical abuse and all that. So my dad always behaved himself as a young lad, and uh, thankfully never spent any time in places like Glen Cree Peace, uh, Centre for Peace and Reconciliation. They didn't do any peace and reconciliation for them boys that they buggered and beat and everything else. Anyway, this is where we are. There's the doorway into the church. The little graveyard up further. And this is Glen Cree in the Dublin, Dublin Wicklow Mountains. Anyway, behind us, further back, is the old German cemetery. If anyone's looking for a place to come to.